Hi, Brittany the Tour Viewer here, and today we are looking at the Crazy Sand Glitter Sand Mermaid play set. And about a week ago, I did a Kinetic Sand brand uh, video on Dino Dig, so check that out as well, and I'll put a link in the description. Now, this, I have never used Crazy Sand yet. I, I haven't used it yet. I've tried Kinetic Sand, and I've tried Sands Alive, personally. And so this is the first time I've used Crazy Sand, so let's go ahead and get it out. Alright, so I don't know exactly what this kit is going to look like compared to the big kit I did with the Kinetic Sand. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Alright, so I just slid this whole thing out of the box, and the first thing we have here is the Sand Play Tray. And you flip it over like this, and this is where we're going to put our sand. Alright, so the first thing we got are our instructions and like a little flyer for light bricks. And we also got our glitter sand and we have this nice purple color. And we also got a green color. And we also got a pink color. Alright, we got a mermaid mold. Looks like this a little like crab or sea snail or something mold we got a little fishy mold and we got a little treasure chest and it has little molds on the bottom all right and we got our little sand shape tool right here and it has like a little cutter and like a little scoop all right so let's go ahead and open up our sand now this is really cool too because the sand actually comes in a resealable bag which the kinetic sand did not come in a resealable bag so that's really nice. So let's go ahead and open up our blue sand. Alright so let's start putting our blue sand all over the place and let's take a look. We start pushing it together. Alright, so here is the sand, and as you can see, it is very glittery. Alright, so I've been playing with the sand a little bit to get like a feel for it. And it does feel a little bit different than the kinetic sand. It's like a little bit softer, I think. And it also seems to like hold together a little bit more. Whereas like if I was to like drop this, it would stretch out. But this stays more like clumps. So maybe it just needs to be played with a little bit more. I don't know. Um, I mean, everybody has their different preferences. So maybe this one, you know, maybe some people like this kind better. Um, right now, I don't know. I haven't played with it enough. But it is a different feel than the kinetic sand. So I can tell a difference. So first, I'm going to go ahead and press my blue sand all over my tray to make like water. Alright, so here is all the blue sand laid out. Alright, so I've got my mermaid mold. And the first thing I'm going to do is make her face and arms with some light pink sand. Alright, so I've just filled in where her face and arms go. And now I've got this purple sand. And I'm just going to press it into her mold. All right, let's get a little bit more sand. All right, so now that we have all the sand, let's go ahead and lay it down. I'm gonna give it a little squeeze. She can come out and very gently pick her up. And here she is. Alright, so I have just placed her in the water for the blue sand. Alright, so now we have this little lady right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make her purple. And I'm going to make her eyes blue. So let's go ahead and get some blue. And place it where her eyes go. Something like that. Let's see. Alright, so now that her eyes are in place, let's go ahead and start putting the purple in here. Alright, so now let's go ahead and see what she's going to look like. And there she is. Isn't she cute? 
All right, so let's go ahead and place her right there. All right, so here we have our little fish, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make part of his tail blue, and I'm gonna make his fin blue. All right, so let's go ahead and start placing some blue in here. All right, so now that we've got the fin done, I'm gonna put a little bit around his tail. All right, and maybe I'll give him like a little blue eye. All right, so now I'm going to fill it with some pink. All right, so here comes some pink. Squeeze it in there. All right, so now that we got all the sand in our little fish, we can go ahead and tip him over. And here he is. All right, and let's place our little fishy right there. All right, so this treasure chest is really neat. Not only does it have molds on the bottom for the gems, but you can make like a little treasure chest and put sand in it and gems or you can just mold your entire treasure chest so let's go ahead and mold our treasure chest first and then we'll put some stuff in it so let's go ahead and get a little bit of blue and fill in this little heart all right so i just filled in the heart and now what i'm also going to do is try to fill in right here where it's gonna lock and make like a little heart. They show it being done on the box, but I'm not sure how easy that's gonna be to do, so go ahead and try it. See, and now what you're supposed to do is fill in the other half of the heart down here, which is a little bit easier than all the other molds, <laughs> to put this part here. All right. And now I'm going to fill it with pink sand. So let's get that. All right, so here's a big old piece of pink sand. And let's try to put some right here. And fill this. And it looks like we'll be able to fill like a whole other thing right here. And I'll put some right here. I'm going to get this really filled up because I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. I'm going to close it, so fill it here. And I think that might be enough, yeah. So let's go ahead and close it tight. Put some of that sand. Alright, so now that it's all closed up, let's try opening it. Let's see how we can get this out. Alright, so here is our little treasure chest and I did the best I could <laughs> it doesn't look great but it looks okay and the heart right here is looking pretty good as well as this one so that wasn't too bad so yeah that wasn't actually too bad these came out pretty good so let's go ahead and put this in our sandbox okay and I'm gonna set it right there all right, so now let's go ahead and start making a few gems. Now the hard part is gonna be getting it out once it gets in there. There we go. And here is our first one. All right, so now let's go ahead and make one of these. Okay, so let's try to get that one out. And here's that one. All right, so not only am I gonna make the blue one, so I'm gonna make a few purple ones. And while I'm at it, I'm going to make some pink ones that I can put in the blue sand in the box. Alright, so now that I've made all my gems, I'm going to put some pink sand in here. Alright, so now I'm just going to set this down right here. Leave it open a little bit. And the next thing I'm going to do is just place a few little gems. Alright, so the next thing I'd like to show you is the cutting tool, and we're just going to cut one of our molds. Alright, so as you can see, the cutting mold worked really well, and it cut pretty clean. Um, so now we've got all these little pieces. We can kind of just stick them back together like that. Because it cut it really well, so that's really nice. 
All right, so on the other side of our cutting tool, we have kind of like a little shovel. So I'm going to put a little bit of sand on here and show you. you kind of just shovel it on there and scoop it up. And that's how you use your like little shovel tool. Or maybe try and get some of your molds up like that and scoop them up. Alright, this has been Brittany the Toy Reviewer here, and I really enjoyed playing with the Crazy Sand Mermaid play set. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more Crazy Sand videos. Don't forget to check out our other fun videos, and as always, thanks for watching.